So you see John McCain's family assembled on the left-hand side of your screen, his daughter Megan uh, with her husband. They were married uh, just in the past year, and uh, Senator McCain was very pleased to be able to be part of that. Um, and, you know, they spend all this great family time together in Arizona, and they sort of closed that chapter of the book when they left there this morning. Um, and now to see all of them gathered here, his sons um, also in the military, uh, also served in Iraq and Afghanistan, it, you know, just the enormous commitment to the military that this family has made. And they are watching all of this color guard and the pageantry and the ritual of this moment very closely. You know, we talked about the history of this moment. Uh, John McCain is now the 31st person to lie in state in the U.S. Capitol uh, in 166 years. Think about that, 31 people, as you look at Meghan McCain and Ben Dominich, uh, her husband. Um, so 31 people, the last person, Senator Dan Inouye from Hawaii in 2012. Uh, it's an honor bestowed to very few people. We will watch this moment as the coffin uh, is brought out and it will be taken over by the color guard, all part of the ceremony to welcome the senator back home to Washington, D.C. And obviously the emotion uh, all over the face of Meghan McCain as she watches this and the family. It's a long several days uh, for the family, but no doubt they will be grateful for the honor that is bestowed upon their father. It's exhausting in one sense, but it's, it, they're also so buoyed by the spirit of Americans and the affection and love they, uh, they have for the senator. They've been sharing John McCain with, uh, with America and the world for a long time. I think that's why they love the, that little cubby hole and down in Sedona. And that, I, I've been to that ranch down there, and it's just a, a beautiful spot. And I, I can understand why it was his favorite place in the world. He never uh, was went there until he was 45 years old. He said it was the the place that he felt more home yeah. than anywhere else he had ever lived in his life. And uh, as uh, the governor, Governor Ducey, said. John McCain is like the Grand Canyon to Arizona, and to not have him here just doesn't feel right. Yeah, that's well said.
So what we're hearing is that the families will now get into the cars. General Mattis, we're told, will stay behind for one final salute before the car pulls away. You know, the president, in an interview this afternoon, insisted today with Bloomberg that he properly honored Senator McCain. Um, he said that his press secretary was having a nervous breakdown when he wouldn't talk out when he was asked all those questions, but in the end put out a statement and said something about the senator. Uh, he wouldn't answer the question whether he thought the senator would be a great president better than President Obama. That's obviously a part of all of this, but this has now transcended all of the up and down flags and all of the things that were said and not said, it seems. So true. Uh, so true. This is a powerful moment, and whatever politics lay behind uh, any of that will not be remembered, I think, nearly as long as Senator John McCain and the outpouring of affection that we're seeing from all of his staffers as, uh, as they watch all of this play out, and it becomes quite real for them, General Keene. Uh, as they see that casket. Yeah, um, for most of them, this is their real first contact with it, other than seeing it on TV. And when you when you see your loved one under that flag, it, it just tears at your heart. And I know that's going on with them. Cindy McCain greeting the staffers as she moves her way along the line. You can see Senator Joe Manchin. A number of uh, members of Congress have come to welcome them. Uh, back to Capitol Hill as she works her way. There's Lindsey Graham, dear friend of Senator John McCain, standing on that line to welcome uh, Cindy McCain back as well. Uh, and this is just the beginning of this chapter of the goodbye, as you see uh, Senator McCain's son as he shakes the hands of those uh, who are waiting as well. So um, we will continue our coverage of this throughout the evening, throughout the weekend. Brett and I will be back here tomorrow morning for more. We thank you for being with us.